Okay, I'm going to launch a quick apology because that interruption took a lot longer than I thought. I had to save and leave. So I now actually have a save here. And also I've recorded something else just in case this goes completely wrong and the LP ends here. I don't intend for it to, but we are against sectoids and I've just seen what he's got. Right, here's the plan. Prime grenade, zero. Throw it there. And you don't have any way of running away from him in time. Thankfully, it being a sectoid of a blaster bomb, you should be okay. But it being sectoids gives us a whole other issue. Yeah, you're gonna prime you're gonna hold a grenade. You're gonna prime that thing to zero. The Grand Wazoo is going to do exactly the same thing in here. This is the tactic I've decided on. We're just gonna bomb them like mad. In the meantime, get to cover. Duck. Raiden's also high level. Use the fact that that area is about to explode. We know from the Pistol Terror Challenge that um, it actually has a reasonable chance of working, this. Here is Kung Pao. Upgraded to laser rifle. Actually, do we want to do this? If I prime his grenade for one... Oh, he's holding a one-turn primed grenade. Okay, that's fine. Just duck down and prepare there. Max will move into position and duck there. Right, let's hope this works. Sandworm is sacrificed, unfortunately. Reptile moves around. I would have taken any other race other than Sectoids here, because I'm just... I know that, um... I fog it with a pistol. What a bomber, might as well move him. Because I know we're going to suffer massively on the psionic front here. Space Hopper Alien comes around. Right, Pauline into position. We have lots of troops. Jorg Prime, Mr. Cool. Alright, James is in position. But Desert Claw moves into position. Thankfully, the heavy weapons appear to have gone to people who are vaguely useful. We got anybody else? Nobody that I can. Oh no, we got you as well, actually. The shopkeeper. Uh, you know what? You can actually just stay in there for the moment. In the meantime, detonate. <coughs> One down, though. Turn two. Well, I stand by that move. It was a reasonable one. Who's up first? 2.0 version of Steve. Who can he see? Ah, oh, I see. They're just the rubble is sort of hiding them. Still, auto shot at the one at the back. Pistol gets lots of shots, but unfortunately that's reactionary fire now. And Steve is down. Now, Lord did suffer from that. Did we prime this? Yes, we did.
duck, cover, hope. Grand Wazoo's fine. And he's got a primed one as well, actually. But we'll save his. Alright, who's next up? I think actually we might be worth ending the turn here. Because that's two aliens probably dead. Possibly more than that. See, so yeah, we can defend this place. We have the bombs to do it. All that requires is that we have multiple sacrifices here. Foggett sees no aliens. Oh, I don't like this. Lord does not have any more grenades. Who does? Does a claw does? Prime for zero. Let's see if you can see anything. No, let's move you around. That was an error. And that was a bit of an error. Let's hope you don't end up killing both Lord and the Grand Wazoo here. You duck behind cover. That guy's going to see anything first anyway. Yep, that's going to be a grenade going off there. Okay. Are you suffering permanent wounds here? Yes you are. You've got f seven turns. Alright, back to you, Foggett. What do you see? He sees nothing, possibly due to all the dust. Alright, Grand Wazoo. Chuck it and run. Well, at the very least we did get rid of the blaster bomb, but I think we have destroyed it. I am liking this tactic more and more, but it is getting a bit more risky with every time we do this. He's got a blaster bomb. And he's right outside there. Oh, and he's got some friends. Dang it, neither of them have blaster bombs in. Oh well. She's the one of the back and hope. Right, Lord had a good turn. Raiden. Prime Grenade Zero. I didn't realise you actually suffering wounds as well, aren't you? Dang. Wazoo, I'm awfully sorry. I hope you survive, but I don't expect you to. Clive's... oh... Dang it, I've really messed up with this. Who else is suffering like that? You're okay. You two are out of blast range, so you should be fine. Don't want to risk anyone. We can see them, and hopefully they're all going to be decimated now. Lots of deaths. Lots of movement in the elevator. And no psionics, which is both surprising and I'm not really in a mood to complain about that. Two more. If I could shoot the one at the back. And again. I shot the one in the front, but that's not the problem either, but you did want to kill them. Dang it. One down. 
right. Coming forward of Raiden. Grand Wazoo's actually still fine there, so I might as well keep him there. I'm thinking, I don't think the Cyberdisc's gonna advance through this. There was one we saw around here, but I think we killed that. I uh, don't want to risk James. Pauline. Alright, 16% accuracy, we're gonna have you duck. Come on. One of the back's dead. And the one at the front. Good snipering work by Pauline. So Raiden has three turns at best. I want to see if they've got a cyber disk still there. I suppose they can walk the cyber disk through here, but also Kung Pao needs to move forward a bit. A bit risky with a colonel, but he has a primed grenade. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Uh, they're still coming through, and there's still no psionics, which is probably more surprising. Reptile. It's got a good amount of accuracy, actually. <laughs> Augmented with laser rifle, I know, but yeah, uh, a load of shots. Good amount of accuracy amounted to nothing. Heavily wounded Raiden. 8% accuracy. Might as well have a go at it. <sighs> He's practically dead anyway. Oh, we must kill him. Pauline, continue your sniping efforts. That's a wall there. And that's a door. And that's your third kill. Surprising that it might be. Right. Clive still has 12 turns left, and we really don't want to lose that. Alright, continuing on. Oh, here comes the psionics. On the nearly dead Raiden, who's gone berserk. Alright, Grand Wazoo. Don't see any more at them. I want to advance, I really do. Pauline? Who's up for a suicide mission? You should both have um, high explosives still. Speaking of which, Polly can actually hold that without lowering her accuracy, so she will. And finally, Jorg Prime. Now, actually, let's go for Space Hopper Alien. Alright. Bearing to advance now. Kung Pao and Max will go around the outside. We're in a very good defended location, but we have dealt with a lot of what they've got. Raiden is under alien control. Has missed, oh, you know he's got very low accuracy. Your reactions suck. Don't kill Kung Pao. Right, we know Raiden's in there and he's about to die. Oh, how I do not want to do this. Right. Reptile advances. It's 
Same for Snapshot. Let's not prime the grenade just yet. We'll have Pauline duck into there. Max went berserk. Kung Pao needs to move away from um, berserk Max. Meanwhile, Sergeant needs to just find out where you've gone. Dare we put him down? He'd want it this way. I believe that's how he would have wanted it. He now dies a hero. Sergeant and veteran of many battles. Clive moves down. We are advancing now. This is our base. Uh, who else have we got? Marine with dart gun. Marine with dart gun. Move down. Right, end turn. Something moved. It's a stun bomb. Jaw Prime's unconscious. Max under alien control. This is why I did not want to face sectoids. Because I thought that might happen. Alright. The Grand Wazoo. Earns a kill. So, the thing that was there is no longer there. You can duck and cover. Pauline, Prime, Zero. That might turn out to be a great little move on my part. Clive, though, has nine turns. Alien, go. Can't have weak members of the team at the moment. Mind you, they seem to have taken over a tank. Something I kind of wish we had at this point. Clive? You've got six more shots to execute Max. Or you're in trouble. By that I mean more trouble than you're in already. I know he's actually dropped because of the... Come on. He's gonna survive now. Right, and that's done. Weak elements of the team are dropping. Pauline has no... Pauline could easily turn here. Right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Pauline panics and she's presumably dropped it. Right, now we have an interesting move. Right. Advance. Grand Wazoo will also advance. I didn't see anyone up there, but... Could have been. Ah! That did not have the desired effect. Okay, so that might be another one lost, and we can't really advance any more troops up. Pauline's panicking, it's a there. A ring with dart gun. Oh, I didn't prime that, did I? You know what, I might have primed that. Only one way to find out for sure. Now it's definitely safe. Uh, 
Oh, this is just becoming a dis this is comedy now. All right, Clive. Clive, just run. If it doesn't detonate, then fine, but if it detonates... Oh, God. Clockwork bomber. Move into position. Enter. Alright, attempts on Clive. Like panics. Clockwork bomber has panicked. Face up an alien. Sees no more. But does see that guy again. <laughs> right, nothing there. And, thankfully, nothing exploded here. Shopkeeper, you are called. Who have we got left? Kung Pao still. With a primed grenade. I think we need a Colonel's innings now. If there are any other aliens up there, then fair play to them. No, I think we're safe there. Though we might not be safe anywhere else. That's a Cyberdisc, and that is a very good shot from Cyberdisc. Cyberdisc is seen. Out of range. God, I wish you were stronger. Darn it, this is going to be... Right. Shopkeep moves into position. Clive's panicked and doesn't have long to live. The clockwork bomber, though, can still advance even though he has low morale and has no weapon. Oh, we can go pick something up. Ooh, we still have more. Okay, Alicia then. Yeah, I didn't search around, I just went for all the observable ones. And it appears we have another soldier at the very least. Marine with pistol! With a heavy laser. We'll get that changed. That appears to be all the extra assistant we've, since we've got. A cyber disc moves a bit closer. Live went berserk. He's only has five turns to live. Marine with pistol panics. Pauline is panicked. And that's much closer. It survived. It survived and ran away. Or it's a different one. Anyway, oh well, that's all I can do this turn. Shopkeeper. Need to either kill another cyber disc. You've done a few of these in the past. Oh, and a fire. 
duck and hope your reactions are good. Grand Wazoo. Position. Right, Cockwick Bomber doesn't have any weapons, but we can get some for him. Alicia panicked. Pauline actually has a turn this time. Marine with pistol. Might as well go and find a different weapon. Pistol will do. Uh, what shape are we going to be in even if we win this? Mind control, Pauline. Which means we're down to two Marines. The Cyberdisc needs to die now. Alright, that got it. And that claimed another alien. Was that the leader? Fortunately, we have to risk something very stupid now. Shopkeeper, in. Nothing from there. And that's the end of the psionic attacks. We've done well. But somehow I don't think it is. You know, we've got Pauline somewhere at the back. That's where she is, actually. Marine with pistol. Back off a moment. Alicia stays there. Grand Wazoo panics, Pauline's gone berserk. No, control this time. Alright, shopkeep. Seize the alien. Darn it. Unconscious. Oh, what a victory that would be if that's the last one. <sighs> right, Alicia, you better get out of there now. Because Pauline could easily turn in the next turn. And they need some assistance up there. Ring with pistol, same duty. Clive has two turns. Hidden movement. Still alien. Pauline's under alien control and directly in front of one. That's one with uh, weapons. Shopkeeper's on berserk, but thankfully he's shooting the right way. Well done, Shopkeep. Alicia's panicked. Shopkeep might actually have won this the mission while under alien influence. And if he has, that would be awesome. Snapshot reserved. The Grand Wazoo picks up weapon. Moves on and prays. Alicia panics, of course. Clive, last turn. No. Clive has died for fatal wound. Grand Wazoo panicked. Pauline's berserk. Alicia's berserk. We have Kung Pao and the shopkeeper now. And no idea where it is. It's going to be one... Oh god, it's not going to be this sort of thing, is it? Is it? 
If there's a cyber disc in there, I will be so annoyed. Karamazoo has gone berserk. Point panic, Talisha's gone berserk, but no psionics that turn. I don't want to risk Kung Pao here. And equally, the shopkeeper's got this next turn. So we're down to five. Point panics. Nope. So that means he's either in one of them, which the Grand Wazoo can walk towards now and find out. I think we check this one actually. Or. Okay, where is it? Where is that stupid little thing? It's definitely not in there. He hasn't snuck around to the back, I don't think. So, where is it? I think the Grandma Zoo is about to find it. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> that game was not very nice. Alicia? Fire. <sighs> well, whatever's left of XCOM. Pauline, move onwards. We at least have got all of these sex toys, I'm sure of that now. But that... I'll prime it next turn, but... Oh, God. Right, since we know it's there, we're going to prime a grenade to zero, and then we're going to next turn. There's really no fair way of getting in there. That's miles short. What kind of shot was that? I'm just going to have to move reasonably close and throw the grenades in position. Right. Throw. There. Now we're going to blow the bloody doors off. Shopkeeper. Prime for zero. Move out. No, it's still alive. Throw to there. Ah, oh, this is not going to go nicely, is it? You, could, you still have a chance of panicking, so we're not going to try that just yet. 
I might have to sacrifice Alicia here. Alright, so Alicia has a prime, prime that for zero. Walk Alicia in. Fire at it, let it detonate. And it's still. Yep, that was about all we could do here. Just to... Oh, this is insult to injury. We lost a shopkeeper. Beaten. Battered. 17 operatives were killed in that mission. We have four soldiers. We shall now purchase 26 replacement soldiers. Next time, we really hope we're not under another attack because it could still be inbound. Until then. <laughs>